Hey guys, so I'm here today with a quick first impressions video of the new Dip Brow Gel from Anastasia. I was specifically interested in trying this product because I actually really like the Dip Brow from Anastasia. It's just not the most user-friendly product if we're all being honest here. I definitely feel like it's easy to overdo it. And if I could use a gel to give me the same sort of look and the longevity and the structure and color of a pomade, well, I'm all in for that. So if this first impressions and demo of me applying it ends up being helpful, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe because I would love to have you back on my channel and we will jump right in. I have mine in the shade dark brown. I should say that when I'm looking for a brow product, I want there to be hold, but I want it to be bendable, flexible. I don't like my eyebrows feeling like hairsprayed onto my face. I am a huge Anastasia fan. I've repurchased the Brow Wiz more times than I can even count, but I haven't really enjoyed the clear brow gel like some people have. That again gives me a little bit too, too much of like a crispy look to my eyebrows. So I wanted to try this out and see how it ended up looking on my brows. You might be able to tell that I already applied it. So let's quickly jump into my first impressions of the product. Okay, so I have the shade dark brown, but I've already combed out my eyebrows. That's what the brush looks like. I'm gonna start back here. So once you get in here, I think that this brush is a little bit too big. Um, it is a little bit more difficult to finesse. Ugh. Um, I'm getting some weird deposits of product in there. So I'm just going to use a clean spoolie and kind of brush that out a little bit to helpfully remedy the situation. Yeah, that definitely, that definitely helped. Okay, so, so far, I really like it. It actually reminds me quite a bit of the Glossy Boy Brow. Um, if you're a fan of that product, I'd be happy to do a comparison video. So, I think that this is a little bit more pigmented, maybe, and I feel like the product itself, this is slightly wetter, um, but I definitely feel like the hold is very similar. Definitely has that pomade -y sort of feel to it that the Glossier Boy Brow has. Let's go on with the other eyebrow. I'm interested in seeing how this eyebrow is going to look. This is my fuller eyebrow and this is my thinner eyebrow. So again, starting in the middle, because that's where I need the most product. I will say that the brush does it works well in here when I don't need to be as precise. It makes fill in really quick. So that's how they look after. I see a big difference. I don't know if you can see a big difference, but they look much fuller. It's definitely giving me a lot more volume. So I really like the color payoff that it gave me. I love the color that I chose as well. It's definitely giving me a little bit more volume to my eyebrows, which I really like. I also like that this kind of looks like a powder. When you use it very lightly, I do feel like I'm getting kind of like a brow powder look. With a pomade, it is a little bit more matte than like a brow gel with color. So I do like that it is a little bit more of a matter look. It definitely makes the product look a little bit more natural. Now, a couple of things that I don't like, especially from just trying it now, I'm not a big fan of the actual applicator. The applicator definitely makes it easier, especially when you're out here on your brow. Um, at least for me, um, my brow shape, it made it really easy how long it was to quickly apply the product all through there. And I really enjoy the look that it gave, but when I had to get in here, I talked about it in my Kush brow gel video, as well as my Glossier boy brow video. I'll leave those linked down below. What I mentioned in those videos is that I don't like it to look really messy in here because I already have 
a significant amount of hair in here and I like a little bit less of a manicured look. So if I go in with too much brow gel in there, it can get messy very, very quickly. And any of like the more feathery hairs can quickly look a little bit too dramatic. Um, it can make me look like I have even more of a unibrow than I probably already do. And what's kind of amazing to me about this product is that this is so quick if you want a more bold brow, but you don't want to go in with the pencil. Now, it's not gonna be as precise. able to achieve a really bold eyebrow look very quickly, which I really like and can appreciate. Doing my eyebrows, it's just one of those things It's like, I like doing, just like, I like doing every step in my makeup except for my eyeliner probably, but my, but my eyebrows aren't my favorite. So anytime I can get a product and use a product that is very quick, I really like that. Overall, first impressions right now are really, really positive. I really like this color. I like the overall texture of the product. I don't feel like the texture is too thick. It's definitely a watered down version of their pomade. It's definitely not like super chunky pomade. And I really do like that it's a little bit thinner than that, but it still gives the structure and the color of the dip brow pomade. I was saying before, I like that my eyebrows look a little bit more voluminous because I prefer that look in general. And I like that this is a little bit more of a matte product with a flexible hold. The only thing right now that I don't like is is the applicator itself. I wish that it was just a tiny bit shorter so it was easier for me to get in here with my eyebrows. So if this video was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, of course. Want me to compare this to any brow gels that I've already talked about, the Glossier Boy Brow, the Milk Makeup Kush. I'd be happy to do those videos if you'd like, so leave me a comment down below. Of course, subscribe. I would love to have you back on my channel and I will hopefully see you then.